Our first award is the Phoenix Award. And of course, the Phoenix is famous for rising from the ashes to be born again. And it's a testament to second chances and opportunities and renewal. <clears throat> a leader that has demonstrated that spirit in providing opportunity where um, opportunity is not readily found is how, who we're going to honor today with this award. As we present the awards throughout the day, we will have the opportunity to hear from several individuals impacted by our award recipients and learn more about their work. Please welcome Adam Martin, Executive Director of the F5 Project and 2017 recipient of the Phoenix Award to tell us more about this year's Phoenix Award winner. Thank you. Sorry. I didn't know. Let's give Adam the stage. I was like, move aside, Gov. I got this. Uh, <laughs> Stay over here. Uh, my name is Adam Martin. I'm the executive director of FI Project and founder. Uh, what is up, Recovery Reinvented? This is awesome. So I have the honor and the privilege to uh, present someone very dear and special to me. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to be able to read this stuff up here, so I had it printed off. Uh, I lost my glasses at the governor's house last night. No big deal. Uh, <laughs> he's not listening to me at all. Um, so I first met this individual when they reached out to me uh, after I started FI Project. We were just, it was a couple months old, and uh, um, she wanted to, to do more with it. So when, when she asked me out to coffee, she told me that she was in recovery, and I was like, what? like totally mind-blowing to me because uh, when for some reason I thought recovery was just meant for like certain people then like people like started coming out of the woodworks in like the state and the feds and like even judges I've met and stuff like that so when I started meeting people like that it, it was just mind-blowing to me uh, since we met um, she has been an instrumental person for grace and change for F5 and North Dakota. She's hel she helped us facilitate our first opportunity house in Fargo, and since then we've opened houses in Bismarck and Grand Forks. Uh, and she serves on the F5 project board for the last three years, and she just re-signed for another two. Uh, she, she now knows who, she didn't know she was getting this award. She probably knows now. Um, not only has she created a change in opportunity for F5, but uh, she is a leader for everyone, everyone who has been entangled with the justice system, uh, seeking re-entry into uh, a broader society through helping create criminal record seal laws uh, for those affected with a lifetime felony background due to drug addiction, sponsoring multiple bills for be behavioral health and creating programs for those afflicted with drug addiction. Uh, I am so grateful for this person's leadership, commitment uh, to service, and work for the greater good. Someone who truly embodies the spirit of the Phoenix, creating possibility and opportunity for others to have a second chance at reaching their fullest potential. Dude. And the winner is... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Please join us in recognizing a legislator that's given a powerful voice to those seeking meaningful reentry, She's advocated for the inclusion of people who have met their debt to society and are ready to return to their communities. Please help us congratulate this year's 2019 Phoenix Award winner, Representative Shannon Roars Jones. Yay! <laughs> Nice. Oh, yeah. Um, thank you. I, uh, when Adam started talking, I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, uh, I just appreciate the, the consideration. This is uh, quite a surprise. There's so many other people who have been more involved than I have, but uh, happy to be a part of the process. 
and uh, hopefully able to continue to do things that will support people both in recovery and through their uh, behavioral health challenges and, uh, and, and help people become more whole and able to participate in the community. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.